My dreams will come true. Why? Why do you keep kicking me? The church out in the countryside didn't have any chairs. So everyone sat on the floor during the worship service. There was a yellow line running down the middle of the hard tile floor. He Jung liked to sit on the yellow line. Hey, why do you always sit here? Girls are supposed to sit over there. But He Jung was strong willed. I can do whatever I want. Go sit with the girls. I won't. I can't see anything from over there. He Jung and Hong Bong kept fighting. He Jung was very small. So she had a hard time seeing over the bigger girls. Since she couldn't see the face of the teacher or the preacher, He Jung decided to sit on the line. He Jung never forgot one Bible story in particular that the teacher had told them. Today, I'm going to tell you a Bible story about a person named Joseph who had many dreams. Joseph's father loved him, but because of his brother's jealousy, Joseph ended up being sent to another country as a slave. Nevertheless, Joseph believed the words of God, which he had heard in his dreams since childhood. Eventually, he came to govern over the land that he had been sent to. When He Jung heard the story, it reminded her of her own life. Even though He Jung lived with her aunt instead of her mother and father, she believed that God would make her dreams come true in the future. Just as he had with Joseph, He Jung prayed, God, even though I don't have my own father, you are a father to me. Like Joseph, I believe in you, and I believe you will make me a good person. Sometimes I cry because I want to see my mom and dad, but from now on, I won't cry. I will take good care of my brother too. In the name of Jesus, Amen. He Jung believed she could be like Joseph if she believed in God the way that Joseph had. That hope made He Jung very happy.